Hi, Keller Williams. This is Medhani Pradhan, your Market Center Tech Trainer and Director of Agent Services. And today we are going to show you how to create a 4th of July design for your social network. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is uh, click on design. So the first thing we're going to do is click on designs and create that social design. And then we're going to go into campaigns and go ahead and schedule that post for the 4th of July. So let's get started. Go to designs. Then you're going to click on the plus sign. Select social because we're creating a social post. And then we're going to click next. When you click next, you are going to be taken to the kwbrand.com area, which is our area to create those designs. Uh, if you see, I'm already at the holiday greetings, but you can get there by clicking on lead generation and then holiday greetings. Here you will find all the designs for Facebook, social-wide, which can be used for Twitter, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, and they actually tell you the pixel size and the aspect ratio. Uh, you can also create the one for um, LinkedIn posts, Facebook posts, as well as Instagram. These are square, and I like to create a square design because it can be used for all three uh, areas. And then there is a standard postcards, you can also have standard postcards. These are all holiday greetings. Remember that. And these are social stories. I like using these. I send these uh, to my email, download it from my phone, and then use it either on Instagram stories or on Facebook stories. But today, we're going to go ahead and create a 4th of July uh, you know, greeting, which is, I, I let's use, there's, there's a couple here. One is the Stars and Stripes and one is the Happy Fourth of July. You can decide which one you want to use uh, and use the one that best suits you. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this one. You know, all you're going to do is click on the Use Red button and it's going to take you to the design it, designing itself. So now remember, it's created a blank square for you. Uh, you're actually going to add this new design onto this blank square. So click on the plus sign. It's going to transfer that uh, design onto here. Uh, you then want to do only one thing and to keep it really simple, click on this and all you're going to do is this is your DBA name, the Keller Williams doing business as a logo. As you click it, it's going to actually come to the My Assets page and see the different logos that you have inside of your command. Now, I already have one that is here, so I'm going to click on the Replace Logo and, uh, you know, replace it with the one that I have already in my command, in My Assets. Now, once you have done this, if you're happy with this, you can definitely go ahead and just name the design and download it. So I want to actually just make this a little bit bigger. You can do that. You can make day bigger. You can add wordings. You can change the background. If you want to change the background, uh, you can do anything you want. So now I'm happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and actually name this design. Okay. It's really important for you to name uh, this design. So 4th of July, stars and stripes. And then I have named this design. It automatically gets saved. If you look over here, it's saved. But if you want to be double sure, you can click on file and save it yourself. There you go. It tells you when you made those changes and it automatically saves it. Now you're ready to download your design. So go ahead and click on the download button. And you will see you have a few choices. Uh, you can either save a, a small file size, size image as a JPEG or a PNG. And um, you can do either or. This one's a high quality image. Uh, if you want to use it and load, have your pages load faster, uh, you know, I suggest using a JPEG. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's, I do not want the blank page. I'm going to uncheck that. And I just want this page number two. Uh, and here we go. I'm going to go ahead and just check that one and then download 
the image. Once you have downloaded the image, it's going to save on your computer. Uh, so once you're, you've, you're done, you've done that, um, we are going to go and schedule the post. Okay, so let me go ahead and wait for that download to happen. Once that's downloaded, it's going to, uh, let's see why it did not get downloaded. Uh, and click on download again. So it says we are preparing your file. There we go. It says preparing right here. Um, and if you did not get that, you know, that uh, saying thing, thing saying that it's preparing, here you go. It's downloading. It's 20, at 28%, 41, 45. And here we go. As it download, uh, while it's downloading, I'm going to open up, uh, you know, and go to um, agent.pw.com again. And so here you go, it's downloaded. Fourth of July, Stripes, it's ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this design on my computer. Once I've done that, I want, you can either go from here. So when you click, you click on done, there you go, you've made that design. It took me less than 30 seconds to do that. Uh, the next thing you're gonna go is click on to campaigns, okay? Uh, when you click on to campaigns, you will come to your campaigns dashboard. Once you come to your campaigns dashboard, uh, you will want to go to the social post area. So there are four tabs. Uh, let it load. I'm going to let it load. There we go. Uh, in under campaigns, you see paid ads. You have emails and you have direct mail. And now what I want to do is actually go to social posts because we are trying to create a social post on your channels, right? So here we go. You can see that this is the week of that your social post. It tells you what posts you have created. I looks like I haven't created any right here. Uh, you can also go to month and you can see uh, the dates of today and on the next few days. So if you prefer a week view or a month view, you can just depend, you know, it depends on what you want to do. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to create a social post for the week of the 4th of July. So I want to actually do it on Sunday, July 4th. So here we are on Sunday, July 4th. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Sunday, July 4th. So I'm going to create a social post, click on that. Uh, and now I want to upload the image that I just created. Now you can go to browse your designs library and do it from there, or you can down use the one that you've downloaded and I'll show you both. So if you go to browse designs library, you'll see that you have just created this one right here. You can click on this and it'll automatically get selected. Okay, so there we go. You have selected the one from the library that you just created. So we let it load once it's so okay, it says select design. Selected design was not ready to use. So well, I have my design already downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and click upload image and drag and drop the image right from my computer. There you go. Now automatically it uh you know picks the size for you. Uh so I feel this is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and crop image. It's not actually cropping anything, it's just selecting it. So there we go, I'm, I've, the image is cropped. Um, then you'll see, the next thing you'll see is, so we're gonna go through all the steps. So now we have we have selected uh, the image. So, but if you scroll on top right here, uh, you'll see there is a text box. So this is where you put in the information that you want to use for your greeting. I have already kind of started that up here and I have some wordings already ready. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these wordings and going to put the text right here. So happy stars and stripes day. Uh, I selected this flag from right here. If you click on and say US flag, it actually brings that up and you can select it again right there. So take time to remember those who worked hard to ensure a better future for us. Happy Independence Day and you can put whatever designs you want. What If you want to choose barbecue, if you want to choose any designs, there's all these, uh, you know, emojis right here. Emojis actually are fun and they help you, you get, you know, people get attracted to the, those kind of, uh, you know, wordings. So that's, this is what it's going to look like 
on your page. So it's this is what it, your the wordings are. You do not want to if you start typing here, okay, and you 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 start start typing more. You see that goes away, right? It's not there. So you want to definitely keep it to three lines or less. So one, two, and three right here. So now this is the design that you are going to get. Um, you can either schedule the post that you've already decided to do that, and maybe you, you want to do it uh, at a different time. So you want to do it maybe at eight o'clock, at six o'clock. So uh, you can change the timing right here. Uh, let's see, this is in the way. Uh, so I'm going to change this to, I can't really move this. Let's move the menu. Okay, there we go. Now I can change it to either a 9, 9 a.m., 8 a.m., 7 a.m., 6 a.m. Let's do 6 a.m. So uh, July 4th, 6 a.m. These are the accounts that I have connected in my command, right? I have um, Twitter and my Facebook page. This is my Facebook page and this is my Twitter page, okay? Uh, so I can go ahead and schedule this post and then for the 4th of July at 6 a.m. It is that easy, guys. So go ahead and, and then you can preview it. This is what it looks like on Twitter. This is what it's gonna look like on your uh, Facebook uh, business page. Now that we've done that, all we have to do is click schedule post twice. There you go. And it is now scheduled for the 4th of July. So let's look whether it really got scheduled, okay? Uh, so let's click on week number two. And right here you see you have scheduled a post going out at 6 a.m. on your Facebook page and your Twitter page. Now, if you're interested, uh, you know, in learning more on, on, you know, these quick posts, these quick posts are amazing. Uh, there you can shuffle through a bunch of different posts and actually give value to your clients or to the people who are watching your page about information that you really have on the real estate business. So, uh, if you are looking to put like this quick post onto your page or this one right here, which says uh, bad joke alert, what's the only thing that shows more appreciation than me? Uh, U.S. home prices. It's a, a kind of a cute one. So let's go ahead and click on this arrow. Okay, it brings up the post. These posts are already done for you guys. These are called quick social posts and again you can go ahead and publish it maybe on a time that you don't have any posts scheduled so there we go uh, you can click on july 29th which is tuesday at maybe six o'clock you can change the timing if you like afternoons you can do that and 7 a.m i prefer early in the morning so people who are browsing my website can actually go and look at stuff. So you, for these posts, these social posts that are already created for you, called quick posts, you really don't have to do anything. Literally, you click on that little arrow up, click on the pages or channels you want those on, and all you gotta do is go ahead and schedule that post right here. All right. Um, all right, so let's not click Twitter because I want more information on uh, the, the on the post. So there you go, it has more information than Twitter allows. So let's go ahead and uh, you can also shuffle this information right here. So if you click on shuffle, it'll change the information, um, you know, that is kind of uh, portrayed here. So it just says, New Home Construction America has been highest. So, you know, you can actually uh, switch the information that uh, goes on your post right here. So uh, you can, you know, take advantage of the information that's here. So uh, that's the image. You can do what you want with that. You can also um, change it. Uh, you can change the images here with, with using these emojis right here. You can do whatever it is you want. So I'm happy with this. I'm happy with, uh, you know, the way it looks. Maybe I should just make it so it goes on one line. There we go. 
it's all three lines right here on the right side. So anytime you're editing uh, the left side of your text, make sure you look at what that looks like right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and schedule this post for the 29th. Uh, so now you see, I have a post scheduled on Tuesday the 29th. So not only have you scheduled a post for the week of July 4th for the holiday, but you have actually used the social post that is ready to go and used it for your business page. So hope this was this was educational. Hope this was fun. Hope you're going to use uh, you know uh, information from this video to post for July 4th. Happy 4th of July, guys.